welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 3. We died trying to complete a jumping puzzle, so we're gonna go try to do that again, because now it's now it's personal. Physics killed me, I kill physics. Wait, I don't wait. I guess that doesn't make sense. Hey, come on, guy. So yeah, we're gonna have to go get our souls back. Gonna have to go do a few other things. Trying to track down some stuff. Yeah, that's about it. How was your day? There we go, ready? Get him! More deserted trousers. Yep. I really realize I should go back and use the switch to the other, the high wall of Lothric, and then use the elevator. It seems like it would be a smarter idea, but I keep forgetting. fast. He'll wake up and then turn into goo. That's worse than it sounds. Come on, friend. What's going on? Okay. I just want to talk to you. Come out. I completely gave up. Okay. Perfect. Oh, you know what? My souls are probably up on the balcony because I fell down and died. I just realized that. So we'll go around him. We'll get up on the thing. Oh, there he is. easy to do this. Unless I fuck it all up. So I'm betting my souls should be up there, right? Because they're not down here. Yeah. See? They're likely up. Started my run. Ooh, is there a way up there? Is that how you're supposed to do this? You're supposed to climb up there somehow. And then get down here? I don't know, I don't see like a good way to be up there. try again to get this item. I don't learn very well, do I? Mm-hmm. 
sort of interesting that he's really, really big, but you only have to backstab him like twice and then hit him one additional time with a full charge attack. He's not like boss levels of hell where you just wail on him for an hour and a half. Oh, I see even he paths around this curve because he knows. He knows. Carefully. Carefully, right through that sword. The sword has no collision, so fortunately you can do that. Keep walking. Keep walking. Mm -hmm. Almost. Down the curb again. Go! Oh shit! Shit! Oh, I can just run. And... Oh, he switched! Stop switching! Oh, shit. One. Two. Ah, oh, I rolled too late. There we go. And go! Master gravity. Before gravity becomes our master. Mm -hmm. So now I got plenty of Estus flasks too. To fuck this up repeatedly. Go. Oh! Yes! Yes! Bring a sacrifice. Ooh, let's read. Let's. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think I know. Lose nothing upon death, but ring breaks. This button. Ring of Sacrifice. This mystical ring was created in a sacrificial rite of Velka, the goddess of sin. Its wearer will lose nothing upon death, but the ring itself breaks. Sacrifice is only worth as much as the life it spares. So I think what this does is when I die, I don't lose my souls. My souls go with me back to wherever it is. I go. Well, that wasn't as great as it helped. But that's actually really useful later on when I have a ton of souls and I'm being really risky. So now the place we're going to go next is over there. Because we never went over there. And we're going to go over there. Kill those guys probably because we're going to have to. And we're probably going to go up that way where all that stuff is. There's a lot of things over here that are going to fuck with us. So, we're gonna fight some jerks, I guess. Try pulling them one at a time. Oh god. Alright. One. I didn't even switch back to my Estus last. That could have been horrible. Horribly, horribly funny. Hilarious for you at home. Ah, fuck. Take the elevator back. Oh, I could go. Damn it. You know what? Damn. I completely forgot about this one. This one's the best one. It takes me right to the front door. I don't have to get past anybody. Probably should have remembered that an hour ago. Alright, so we can go this way. 
I need to fight like a few guys. Fuck it up way less than I. Oh, right. That means I'm gonna have to get past the guards to get back up to my souls, though. Well, you know, life is full of disappointing losses. But. But. Now, this is where this can get tricky. Hmm. Oh, never mind. I guess that was actually relatively painless. Try to get past these guys. Hmm. How is he doing? Right, so, let them come to me. Away from the other one. Fighting two of these guys at once is probably not going to be great. Fighting Lothric Knights. Well, yeah, I guess this is the best time as any to learn, right? I'm gonna solve this. I'm gonna fight harder knights later on. Something got hit over there. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, okay. But, oh god, I completely forgot about them. And then I forgot to <laughs> so everything went wrong. I, I did actually that time. Uh, I sort of um, I sort of predicted it, didn't I? When I said that I didn't I did didn't switch back earlier and didn't suffer for it, and then this time this time I totally suffered for it. So important lesson learned. Spear? What? It's almost time to play with spears then. Alright, so now that's taken care of.
hole here. And we'll give this a shot again. Too. Just get that extra oomph of damage that might might put us over the top of not dying horribly. Pull him back over this one in case there's anything else horrific over there. There we go. One, two, three. Gosh. Go away. Go away. Oh, man, fuck. One, two, three. God. Oh shit. Fuck. There we go. See what cool thing we've earned ourselves by killing two Lothric knights. I know there's another one up over there. Uh, huh. Check the sides first. Vision of defeat. Time for master. Oh, this does not look good. Well, there's a lot of blood pools in here. I have zero assets last left, so if I die in here, this might be very, very bad for us. This is a person I can talk to. Ah, the wait has been long, unkindled one. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Allow me to speak frankly. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone, to their journey homes converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the High Wall, forge on through the Great Gate, and raise this banner to proceed. Eat. This farewell gift is for you. It is the insignia of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart, and the old concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. Neat. What is wrong, Unkin? Are you not a lord seeker? Head to the base of the high wall and seek the Lords of Cinder. Is this not the calling of your kind since ages past? Sweet. So that's what we're gonna do. Can't go upstairs. Oh. So yeah, there's a ladder up behind her that you can see. So I guess I come back here at some point. If we're gonna do a quick, quick once over in case of hidden secret things that are mine. Or should be mine. I broke stuff. Pew pew! Pew 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 pew! Eh? Get it? Right. <laughs> Try touch. Or torch. Oh man, I don't have a torch. I don't think I do. Nope. Alright. Try torch. Oh, I gotta light these things. I get. Oh, I gotta do a thing. Okay. Well, we'll come back at some point, I suppose, when we have a torch. So now, I'm gonna investigate these side stairs. 
And then I think that'll be where we call this episode. Now he's in blue, so there's a chance he's not horribly mean. Let's find out. Hey, guy. Oh, boy. You're clearly horrible. What? What? I don't even want to know now. Uh, oh, God. I made a horrible mistake. get back down to where it won't be a terrible, terrible thing to get my souls back. Alright, good. Yep. Fortunately, getting my souls back from there will not be a huge problem. Alright, so next time, we'll go get my souls back and continue on our way. Thanks for watching, see you next time.